Good morning children this is Priya from Vigyan class 3 today we are going to learn about shapes what topic name is shapes before going to start this session let us have some interaction children we can use different objects in our day to day life so what are the objects you can find here we can find here different objects so do all the objects have the same kind of surface no some of the objects have plain faces some of the objects have curved surfaces yes can you identify children which of the objects have only plain surface yes here we can see the surface of the notebook have a plain surface if you observe the sheet of paper here the sheet of paper also have a plain surface let us take this box this box is also having a plain surface the top of the box also have a plain surface other than this objects here we can also find some other objects so what are that objects a ball a bangle a bulb so can you find children which of the uh, which of the surface these objects have we can see here these objects have only curved surfaces now children give some examples which of the objects have both the plane and the curved surfaces yes we can see here for example let us take a bottle the bottle have both the plane and the curved surface similarly if you observe the batteries here if you observe the batteries the batteries also have both the plane and the curved surface let us take a pencil let us take one pencil a pencil also have a both the plane and the top and bottom have plane and the middle one is curved surface if you observe this box the box also round shape box the box also have the top and the bottom have the plane surfaces and middle one is curved surfaces now till now we discussed objects have either plane surfaces or curved surfaces or both the plane and the curved surfaces now children give some examples what are the objects we use in our daily life which have only plane surface yes we can see for example the top of the table the surface of the table if you see the surface of the table it gives a plane surface similarly if you observe the laptop if you observe the surface of the laptop it also shows the plane surface for example if you observe the screen of the cell phone this also shows what a plane surface not only this objects children let us consider your classroom what are the objects you can find in your classroom what are the objects you can find in your classroom which indicates only plane surface yes we can see in the classroom a blackboard what is that one a blackboard 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 have a the surface of the blackboard have completely plane surface if you see the benches the top of the benches also in the classroom shows plain surface if you see the textbook if you see the textbook of the textbook the surface of the textbook also shows the plain surface so other than this objects we can also find in the classroom the floor of the classroom and the wall of the classroom also shows the plain surface now children till now we discussed about plane plane means what children a plane is nothing but a flat surface for example let us take this sheet of paper on the sheet of paper if you take one pencil by using this pencil if you put a tip of pencil on the plane surface what do we get children we get a dot what is this one this is a dot this dot is also called what point this dot is we are calling as point so 
generally we use this points using the capital letters for example this is a point this is b point this is c point how to name the points point a point b and the point point c now children you observe here all the points so this point shows what on the plane surface the point shows a exact location or position on the plane surface if you observe all the points does a point have any dimensions can you observe a point have any dimensions no the point do not have either a length or breadth or thickness understand so children where do we use this points in our day to day life if you observe the india map here if you observe the india map we can locate the different states in the india map using the points so this point shows what here the point shows an exact location of the particular state not only this india map we can also use children example let us consider one google map when we don't know the exact location of our destination what we use we use google maps it indicates the location of the point so these two are the examples of real life examples of point now for example if you write a point on the plane surface what is this point name of this point a this is point b this is point c like that how many points we can write on the plane surface is it any limitation to write the points on the plane surface no we can write an unlimited number of points on the plane surface yes now let us mark some points on the plane surface this is let us mark some points on the plane surface how the points are spelled point a point b point c this is d e f so if you observe all the points how the points are placed here the points are placed close to each other and all the points are in is it in straight path yes all the points are is in straight path if you join all the points number of points like that placed close to each other in a straight path what do we get children we get a line what do we get we get a line so is there any end to the points on the plane surface no we can write number of n number of points on the plane surface like that if you join all the points like this we can extend the line can we extend the line in for example this is g point h i j k l m n o p can we extend the line in only one direction no we can extend the line in other direction also if you keep on writing points and join the points all together we can extend the line so a line have any end points here no so there is no end to the points we can extend in both the directions so can you measure the length of this line children no we cannot measure the length of this line so this plane we can write the point up to here only after that keep on adding the points we need one more plane here so can we extend the line on the other plane yes so a line can extend in only one direction no on the plane we can extend in all the directions here so a plane do not have any particular direction till now we discussed children a a point a line is a set of points joined together and extends indefinitely in both the directions that's why we are keeping two arrows at the end of the line 
this arrows show shows what children this arrows show see on the line up to p points okay children on the plane we can see the points up to p only after that keep on adding the points here if you join all the points means what here we are extending the line okay so can we extend the line on the plane in only one direction no so we can extend the plane in all the directions we can extend the plane not only in right side we can extend the plane in all the directions so a plane do not have any particular directions till now children we discussed a, a line is a set of points joined together and extends indefinitely in both the directions that's why we are keeping two arrows here at the end of the line mm -hmm. direction of the line this arrow shows the direction of the line so what are the examples of this line children where do we use this line in our day to day life for example if you take your maths book in your maths book we can see the number line the number line has many numbers so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we can see the many numbers on the number line is there any end to the numbers on the number line no we can write many numbers on the number line is there any end to the line no so the number line is the best example of line so how to represent this line children we can represent line as using this symbol how we are writing the line symbol a bar with two arrows for example i want to write a ap line how to write ap line a p on the head of this ap we can write bar with two arrows so how to read this line this is ap line so how to write this line so line ap the representation of reading and writing are different in line here this is we can read it as ap line if you write in word form we can write it as line ap now till now we discussed a line is nothing but a set of points joined together indefinitely in both the directions now name some points here place some points a b this is c this is d this is e we can join all the points what do we get till now we discussed a line we get on the line if you take only two points which points i am taking only b and c points i am taking so is it possible to measure the length of this bc yes we can measure the length of the line bc why if you observe the bc here the bc has one fixed length here so this bc is a part of this whole line so a part of a line r the distance between any two end point shows the line segment what do we call line segment a line segment is nothing but a, a part of a line or the distance between any two points on the line is called the line segment so if you observe this bc line segment we can see here two points b one end point c is other end point so the point from which a line segment start and end are called the end points of those line segments so how many end points are there in the line segment children we can see here 
two end points on the line segment BC. Can we measure the length of the line segment? Yes, because a line segment have a fixed length, we can measure the line segment. Now, how to represent the line segment? So, we can represent the line segment is using this bar. How to write the line segment BC here? We can write BC on the head of BC we can write just one bar. So how to read this line segment? BC line segment. How to write the line segment this one? Line segment line segment BC. Okay. Now do you observe children how many line segments are there on the line here? We can see here AB is one line segment. If you take B and C, this is one more line segment. CD is one more line segment. DE is another line segment. For example, if you take from A to C, this one also shows one line segment. We can write the number of line segments on the line. So, what are the examples of line segment children? Where do we can see in our day to day life? If you observe the book here, if you observe this book, the book have two edges, two end points are there. If you measure the distance between from one end point to other end point, it gives the length of the line segment. Like that, if you see the edges of this table, if you measure the distance from one edge to other edge, this one also gives the this one also gives the length of the line segment. These are the examples of line segment. Till now what we discussed with children? A point shows a exact position. From this point if you join all the points we get a line. If you consider any two points on the line we get a line segment. Now let us take one more line. Here. On the line, if you write a point A, a point B, a point C, a point D. These are the points on the line. If you consider only one point on the line, if you observe from this initial point B, if you observe this line, this line is extended towards only in one particular direction. Yes? Okay, so this, we can observe this line, this extended in only one direction. So, how many end points are there? This line have only one initial point. So, a ray is nothing but a part of a line. If you observe this line, this is a part of this whole line. So, a part of a line which starts from one particular point and extends towards in only one direction gives the ray. So, this ray have how many end points children here we can see on the line? A ray has only one end point. Can you measure the length of this ray? No, we cannot measure the length of the ray. Why? Because we can extend in one direction. Children, one thing you observe here. Can we extend the ray in only one direction? No. If you see this one line, this line is also a part of this whole line. That too, this line is starting from this point B, initial point B and extend towards only in one direction. Is it a ray or not? Yes, this is also a ray. Like that. If you take, for example, this is a B line. On the A B line, these are the points. If you draw one more line, the name of this line is X Y. If you observe here, children, how many rays are there? C is the from this C point, initial point. If you take this direction, we can observe this is the C B ray. From this initial point, CA also a one of the ray. From this initial point, if you see this one, this is also a one ray. 
So C Y R. From this initial point, if you observe this one, this is C and X R. So we can write the ray in only in one direction. No, we can write the ray in all the directions. Now, what are the examples of this ray, children? If you see the touch light, if you see the touch light R, if we can observe the sun rays. So, the rays of the sun and the touch light rays are examples of this ray. Why? Because the rays are coming from one initial certain one initial point and traveling towards only in one direction. So, the sun rays and touch light are the focus are the both are the examples of this ray. Now, till now what we discussed with children, what is the gist of this topic? So, today we learned dot. Dot. From this dot, we can join all the dots, we get a line. If you take two points on the line, we get a line segment. After, after that, we can... So, on the line, if you take one initial point, from this initial point, if you extend the line in only one direction, we get a ray. So, so all these are... Whatever we learned here, this point and from this point line, line after this is line segment. After that, we learned about ray. All these are what children? These are all the basic terms of geometry.